you made it to Cheryl's place. Welcome, welcome. Today I'm gonna to do um, a little bit different kind of video. Um, I enjoy making all kinds of videos lately, um, or trying to do some, <laughs> anyways. Um, but I'm gonna talk about some of um, things that I enjoy, and I do enjoy uh, makeup and skincare and some things, and um, Yes, so today I'm going to go through my eyeshadow palettes, and um, yeah, well, we'll just start there. Let's just start. And I had already started, but then, you know, things happened. I didn't get too far. Only three minutes in, so it's all good. Okay, so some of these I still have boxes, um, in the little boxes, but it's all okay. So... Here's a travel size Natasha Denona. Her eyeshadows are just gorgeous. She has tons of giant palettes, but I got a more neutral palette with some shimmers. She got two mattes here and here, and the rest are shimmers. They're beautiful, and it's fun pack. I don't know. I like the smaller packaging. Big, huge palettes are awesome. Um, I'm just terrible at using giant um, palettes. And here is one of my favorites. This is, what is it? Wet n Wild, Walking on Eggshells. It's been a favorite for many, many years. And so that's been getting some love. And I just recently purchased this. They have a five pan Walking on Eggshells. It has two extra colors. So that is going to be really fun to try. And you don't, see, these are like complete opposite spectrums. <laughs> this is probably three, four dollars. This was $25 maybe, I don't remember. But it does not have to be expensive to be good. There are all sorts of products out there that are just fabulous. Um, maybe you have to work a little bit at it. And you know, but otherwise some are just so creamy, just like the super expensive ones. I have a little, little mini chocolate bar from Too Faced. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, and it still, still smells cocoa-y chocolate. This is a fun little palette. I think, I don't know how I got this. Maybe it was in one of my, um, the, um, monthly boxes I get. I can't remember. Unless I got it with a Christmas special. Bobbi Brown, and if I remember, this one's more than just eyeshadow. It has some. Okay, here's the eyeshadow. I seem to dig the neutrals. <laughs> Lots of neutrals here. <laughs> but I think underneath this part is a blush. Oh, plus there's a little mirror. But let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, it opens up sideways. See. Okay, so it opens up sideways. And then there, there is a blush. So you get a mirror, the four eyeshadows, and the blush. Very cute Bobbi Brown. I like Bobbi Brown. I have some stuff that will come up in the, um, when I do face stuff in the future. Oh, wait a minute. I just took it right out of the thing. Viseart. I have a small palette because one, these are very expensive and I'm not gonna, this is just me. You want to spend the $75 for a giant palette or how much it is, that is fabulous. Um, you do what's good for you and it comes with a copper case, a little mirror. And I like this because there's not only is there neutrals, but they got the gold and that purple. It's just a super fun, fun little palette and it's perfect for traveling. But the thing about Busy Art, and if you've never owned any Busy Art, is the color pigments are very strong. So you really don't need to use a lot of the eyeshadow. It will last you a long time. So here is, <laughs> speaking of busy art, they sell a palette almost like this size, probably a little bit bigger. But that's the one that I was saying that cost a lot of money. I got the Sonia Ketcha one. Um, I don't know if I got it at Target or where. But it's pretty much almost the same colors, and it works very well. Um, again, you can see it's <laughs> neutral, neutral based with some pinks. But yes, that's a fun palette. 
And I have a little Too Faced, what does it say? Tickle Peach? I think that's what it says. Tickle Peach. Might smell like peach. So let's open this up and see. All right. Uh, do you have any of these eyeshadow palettes I'm showing you or any interest? See, and this one's a metal, fun little metal tin. Isn't that cute? And here are the colors. So here I have, this is where I have some more purples and pinks and golds. But still kind of like a neutral palette as you can see. Oops, what am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. But, oh, I was going to smell it. It does. It still smells like peach. All right. Well, then that's a way to know it's not rotten. I keep my eyeshadows as long as they're performing and they don't have a bad smell. And that's just like you open up your fridge and you smell something bad with your food or you found a lotion you haven't used forever. And as soon as you put it on, you're like, ooh, that's gross. Then I will throw eyeshadow away because I keep it pretty clean. I use clean brushes. My face is always clean. Oh, I can't even open this, but this one is blush and eyeshadows and something else from Stila. Stila. I had this many, many years ago. Let's see. Can I open it? That's the trick. Oh, I did get it open. All right. So there's, whoa, I keep the plastic things on. I keep mirrors clean and, um, so it's got two blushes four eyeshadows, and this probably could be used, well, actually, it's probably five eyeshadows, but let me feel this. Oh, you know what? That's really lightweight. That could probably be a touch-up powder, like for under eyes, your nose, or wherever you're maybe experiencing something you want to powder up while you're out and about, but I like these, this because then it's less things to bring uh, for traveling um, or keep in my purse. I don't really keep makeup in my purse lipsticks or stuff like that if we're going out okay now this wet and wild has seen some craziness and you'll notice most of that purple's gone um and this is a fun palette but the purple was when i was making those fun videos with um for the um steps challenge so and i had all that <laughs> goofy stuff all over me um yes it came out of here so um but yeah, this is fun. Some purples, some greens. That's fun. Wet and Wild's always fun. Okay, these are singles that I've gotten, um, that I purchased myself or gotten in with some of my um, box kits. This down here is more like blush and highlighters. And then this is all eyeshadows up on top. So I don't really use it. I use that green, I think, for when we were doing, or when I was making those videos um, for the steps challenge. So, because I remember using green and purple. So I think um, Sneaker had purple and green uh, things going on back in the day. But yeah, so these are just singles. Um, and then these are magnets to stick on the back. So they'll stick because this is magnetized. Oh, I should show that. It's magnetized. So these are just a stuck that sticker on the back. And it just sticks on magnetized. I think these, yeah, they're called Z palettes. Okay, so you can tell I don't have many single things. This I got. It's called Pretty Fun and Fearless by Ciate. I don't remember. Um, whoa. Oh, now there's some fun colors in here. Purples and browns and some gold. I want to see what color this looks like. Oh, that's fun. Oh. Yeah, that's a cute palette. I think this might have been a collaboration with somebody um yes I haven't really dug in it much okay now this even though I love purple I love purple but sometimes when I wear purple it um if I'm really having bad dark eyes then um it will really no matter how much I try to cover it up I wear purple um sometimes then it just really makes that stick out 
Um, and I have, this is my first big palette I ever bought. And it's Kat Von D, but it's, I think it's KVD is the name of the company now. Lots of neutrals, but they're always a good base where you can use these, and they're all mattes. This is a full matte make or eyeshadow. And the thing is, is you could do up your eyes if you want to add any sparkle or um, glitter. I don't use glitter because uh, my eyes are too hooded and they just fall all over my face. But yeah, so the mattes, mattes, you can make beautiful eye looks with just all mattes. But yeah, that's a fun, and I still have for when I was learning different eye um, makeup, how to put some on. I kept that, keeping that too. Okay, I love this palette. My Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. She has tons of makeup out there, um, but this is the one palette I chose to, oh, it's really dirty. You can, well, I, you know, I keep this. <laughs> And here are all the eyeshadows. You can tell I use this one because it's dirty. Sorry about that. It, I should have wiped that off. I didn't even think about it. So many different colors. I haven't really used the orange. Orange I, I was not really my favorite color is eyeshadow. But who knows? Maybe I'll try a look one day with that orange and see what I can do with it. But this one's super fun. I actually brought it traveling. I think maybe that's why it's all crazy powdery in there. All right, Makeup Geek. She doesn't, she's redoing her brand. And I just thought this was a fun palette. Let's see. And I show. See, those are fun shimmers. And there's no glitter in them. So I like that. I don't, I mean, I know the glitter is to help make it look shiny, but I'd rather have it look a little more metallic than um, in shimmery than like diamonds like glitter because it just gets all over and it's hard to manage just hard to manage but yeah that's a fun palette too all right i have two from tarte well, i should show you this one. look at this okay i have to admit i probably bought this because of how beautiful that is let's see what yeah this is called Oh, I can't read the name. Well, let's open her up. And I still have the paper. Oh my gosh, look at them. Look at those fun colors. Got some plum and that hot pink. Oh my gosh. That's such a beautiful palette. And you have lots of mattes and some shimmers. And there is no... Let's see. Nope, no glitter. Let's try that pink. I don't think the pink has glitter either. I just, let's see. Oh, that's duochrome. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, how fun. Oh my gosh, that's fun. Okay, I'm just saying, oh my gosh, that's fun. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Yeah, oh, and in the center shimmer, you can use that as a highlight on your eyes or on your cheeks. Well, oh, and plus a lot of these pinks and any of these palettes, you can use as a blush. You can use your palettes however you want. And I got Tartlet in Bloom. Neutrals. Oh, I'm getting ne neutrals. I did have a Jeffree Star one, but the colors are so bright. I only used it once. I used it on my kids' Halloween makeup. <laughs> yes, it was, you know, it was stay and they liked it and I ended up giving it away because it was just wasting and they are, you know, so I don't, I don't have that. But this is the one I probably utilize the most and I'll probably have, not have to, I'm probably going to show it in other videos just because it has everything in it. So when you first open this up and it's from it, it's it girl. And they haven't had any of these little 
Um, they come out at Christmas time and there hasn't been any new ones for two years. Creams, um, bronzer, powder, um, no pour, pour, what's it called? Pours no more, um, setting powder. And I, I keep the papers in between because it just keeps opening up and I don't want anything to get stuck together. Highlighter, blush, those are lipsticks. And this thing is what I travel actually with the most with is because it has everything. Then over here is eyeshadows, another highlighter. And then if you want to use these for brows or eyeshadow, but they were specifically put in here for eyebrows. So yes, so this, I would, it's obviously I still have a lot of product in here, but I do like to travel with this kind of book because it has everything. And then I just have to bring the extra little things like if I want to have foundation or whatever this case may be. I'm going to fold that up, put these back on, fold up my book back up. And this is actually the book I use today. I just use blush, bronzer, and the powder. So those are all my... I think those are all my eyeshadows. Oh no, 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 no. There's some down in this drawer. What's down here? I have three more to show you. <laughs> I got. If you don't watch Emily and you like makeup, um, Emily um, on YouTube, she's been around forever and ever. She got to make um, two palettes. So she made like an everyday palette that had like the blush, bronzers, and eyeshadows, and I think highlight. I can't remember everything in it, but it was like a daily um, palette. Now this one is a giant eyeshadow palette. When I say giant, this is the biggest, oh my paper just fell down. This is the biggest palette I have. And as you can tell, I've only used it once because it is beautiful, but it's overwhelming. I don't know what kind of eye look to make. That's where that's where these smaller palettes are easier for me. Cause I'm like, oh, I know what I'm gonna use. But look at those beautiful colors, and they're all named after her family or important things. So her daughters are in here, her husband and everybody, the family is in there. So it's just cute. I need to use this more. <laughs> I need to use that more, but yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, move that all the way. This just came in, I think my Allure box. Recently, it's called The Chosen Bun. Is that what it's called? The Chosen Bun Eyeshadow Palette. So it must be, so, yep, very cinnamony <laughs> brows. There is a... Oh my gosh, you know what? I may have to... <laughs> I am not going to use that. Look at that. There's one, two, I think four shimmers with glitter in. Yeah, this gal. But the neutral mattes are beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I won't be using. I must have just didn't look at it when I got it. Because that is... This is going to... I'm not keeping this because I won't use it and somebody else can use that. Okay, put that over there. And this one I got a couple summers ago. I know it's a little bit bigger palette, but Stone Cold Fox from ColourPop. But I really like all the colors that are in here. And it has all, you know what, I didn't even show any of that stuff. It has the name of the colors on the back of this one. A lot of them have the names of the colors next to them or... Oh, they do still have them next to them. Oh my gosh, look at these colors. Very exciting. I keep saying, oh my gosh, that's crazy. How many times? Hey, if you made it this far in the video. How many times did I say that? <laughs> but look at those fun colors. Yeah, and this is a big palette, and I chose it because it is so neutral based. And yes, you have your black and your dark brown. But all of the everything is is shimmer, no um, glitter in it. That is not meta or matte. If it's not matte and it's shimmer, there's no glitter. So that's why I really like that. This is a fun palette. But since, as you've seen, the, these two bigger ones were in my 
we didn't see, but you see me dig over, lean over again. They're in a bigger drawer, so I don't dig them out as often as I should. All right, I think that's all. Um, and then these are in that this box with my small palette. All my small palettes, I'll put them in back in there nicely. And these are all like to go under your eyebrow or in your waterline to make your eyes look more open. And I'm gonna tell you, I've probably only bought three. The rest of these have come in um, the boxes I've ordered in the past. So um, yeah, I, I think out of all of these, I've bought maybe four. Four of these I purchased myself. The rest have come in um, when the subscription boxes. Oh, wow, I've lost my mind. I shouldn't even be making this video. I'm not even... <laughs> so, do you have any of these palettes? And if you do, what do you like about them? If you don't have any of these palettes, what are your... If you do enjoy wearing eyeshadow, which um, eyeshadows do you have that you'd like to share? Leave a comment below. But I have to say, if, you know, you're not wearing makeup all the time, but you want to wear some, Something like this, or do I have that? I don't think I have another one like this, but something, and then that little Bobby Brown, and I guess, that, what else was there? There was the, um, this, the Stila, um, because I know, um, there's lots of people who make palettes that have more than just, but they're compact, and you can have more than one thing in there, like your blush, bronzer, highlight, and some eyeshadows, and you know those are nice to travel or just keep in your purse or whatever but this one if there's one for sale this year i'm for sure getting it yes sometimes the colors can be similar but it's just nice and you get it for like it is expensive but not as expensive you were to buy all the things separate so i want to say you can get it for like maybe 50 bucks but i mean all the product and everything you get in there plus you know, just throw that in my toiletry bag with a few other things like mascara or whatever have you. And, you know, pretty much everything. So I have to say this is my go-to um, for things. But I guess I use it more for face. I don't... Okay, see, you see. I have the hooded eyes. So I have to... I'm going to wear eyeshadow. I got to start way up here because you can't see my lids. And so that's why the glittery and the shiny things don't, um, they're beautiful, but I, you can't, if I put them on, they're not really noticeable. Um, so that's, that's for me, just, you know, the way, that's the way I was made. Um, so, but I did buy these guys. I want to figure out how to try these. I haven't tried them yet, but you're supposed to be able to put these like in here and then it like. I think it does something, so it will, I don't know. But then you can see a little bit of the lid when my eye is open. And then um, then you could see the eyeshadow. They were only like a couple bucks. There was like 40,000 of them sold. So I'm guessing, you know, whatever. But I'm going to try these one day. They're double eyelid styling. And so it came with all sorts of little tools. Well, now that I showed it to you, I might as well open it up. Um, as I opened it up and looked at everything, so here are some of the different stickers that I could put in my crease of my eye to lift up my hooded eye. Here's the little instructions, they're so tiny, and then. They have this tool that must to be poking on your skin. But look at these little tweezers. I don't know what these tweezers are going to accomplish. And then there's this. So I have to read the instructions and see what this is. And there's an extra little squirt thing. So yeah. So one day. Oh, and this tube. Oh, I suppose this goes in here. There you go. There. So those were the, all the things in there. So one day I'm going to figure out how this works. And if it works... Just try using them, then I'll maybe wear eyeshadow more often. Because eyeshadow is fun. Okay, well, I think um, that's all I got. And um, I'm going to make some more videos of 
what's a my makeup collection let me know what you're interested in do you want to see like my brushes the foundations you know whatever write down below um what you're interested in seeing more of i think i'm gonna do maybe face or something next i don't know we'll see um but thank you for coming by i hope you're having a great day i'm sending out so much love don't forget you're amazing and thank you for coming and I just appreciate you so much greatly. Bye. You're amazing.